Good morning, Joe Deary, Powerful Improvements, Putnam, Connecticut. It is Wednesday, uh, May 27, I believe, and we're out here in Woodstock today. Very sunny day. Sunburned the crap out of myself yesterday. I'm gonna try to be a little careful, a little more careful today. Uh, but we've got a fantastic little house to wash. Uh, painted, white painted siding today. Pretty dirty on this end. We've got a lot of vegetation. Uh, a lot of landscaping to avoid. And I'm out here with my older son today, Quinn. Uh, he's a fantastic helper. Kid is next on the list of being moving up to operator. But uh, he's going to be pre-wetting all this stuff here momentarily. We've got all of our hoses pulled. This is big Quinn, ready to go. We're going to do this concrete walkway for the client today. This is going to be our little bonus extra that we're not charging him for. We're gonna do these front stairs. Can't stand it when stairs look like this. This is a, you know, extra 10, 15 minutes worth of work here with our surface cleaner and our turbo nozzle to make this look real clean after it's had some house wash on it. So that's that's the benefit for the client today that they don't know about yet. I'm gonna knock that beehive down. Get that thing nice and soaked with uh, house wash. And it turns just into jelly after a few minutes. But again, wrap around here. We got one funny angle up there. You can see it looks a little odd, but I should be able to put my 10 foot ladder right there, stand on it, shoot that no problem. And all these peaks are no problem for our system. So uh, we're gonna jump right in and get it going. So today's, today's process as per usual, lately is a 12 volt wash. I got 60 gallons of nice overflowed foaming Mix back there, we're running right about 1%, maybe slightly hotter on this wood paint today, followed with the J-Rod rinse uh, with the 4,000. Um, Quinn's gonna be following me with that. And here we go. Forgot my baseball hat today, so I'm out here looking like a thug, but I got pretty burned yesterday, so that's what we're gonna do. All right, so this propane tank, salamander tank is a mess. Oh, filthy, black, nasty snail tracks. So this is another one of the things we're going to throw the client for free. It only takes a few minutes to wash something like this and gives them a real feel good feeling. So guys keep asking me, what do you do? What's your marketing tips and tricks? This is it right here. Little extra stuff. We've got big Quinn over here, pre-wetting everything for me. That's important when it's all this vegetation, especially on these hot days. It only takes a few minutes. Pretty good peak right here. Nothing too crazy, but that's that's all 25 feet, 28 feet maybe, maybe a little more. Uh, I'm all over that with the Gilmore, no problem, right up over that chimney. I can go up over the chimney, as you can see, I'm wetting the chimney, no problem, right up to the top. And I'm up in that peak with no issues at all with the Gilmore. Quinn's rinsing with that blue soaper tip on the on the pistol today, and uh, he's up there no problem. I find that thing's putting up a little more volume of water than my J rod is. The orifice is a little bit bigger, so I've been liking that better for a rinsing tool. Works really really well, and it's only like I don't know seven or eight dollars at Walmart. It's that blue soaper soaper tip. We use it as a rinser. I don't use it as a soaper. Pre-soaking these stairs in this walkway on the way through. So when Quinn comes back with a turbo nozzle, his life is a little easier. I'm gonna have him turbo nozzle the staircase and then we will use the surface cleaner on the walkway. We like to hit those gutter faces with the X-Jet. Makes a big difference, Bring the, brings the grime right down. A little bit of house wash, let it dwell as you're going along. And then the first thing we do in the rinse is switch to the X-Jet, rip that gutter face Makes it nice and clean. We're gonna take care of that beehive while we're down here too. He's gonna hit that in a second. Whenever you got something like mud daub or beehive, whatever it is, make sure you're taking that off first or pretty early in your rinse process because as you can see, you're just gonna make a big splattering mess. So those things hang on pretty good, but there it goes. That's the majority of it. He's trying not to get a lot of water in the soffit. He's aiming more for the corner. 
and that's it. So that's basically down and we're gonna rinse. So also we're going to hit these stairs first because we also make a big splattering mess on the house. You don't need to be rinsing things twice. Turn on the turbo nozzle. You and you can take a split second to save the worms too the buddhists believe they contain the souls of our mothers there you go five minutes quick turbo nozzle work look at that perfect beautiful new white salamander tank that makes people happy right there all right we're running that 15 inch surface max I'm gonna tear this walkway down real quick. 150 bucks for that at Lowe's. If you don't have one, get one. We don't do a lot of concrete, so it works for us. We've been running that thing for over a year. Earns us money repeatedly. Pays for itself repeatedly. Nasty black on that paint. Let's see how this 1% wash works on that. Should be no problem. I'm expecting good results. I'll come back and make a quick little shot on this on the rinse in a few minutes after it dwells. It's gonna need probably a good five, six minutes of dwell time. You can see it's reacting already, so it's gonna work nice. All right, I'm all over that peak from the ground too. No problem. Over the peak, over the chimney, way over the chimney, feet over the chimney. You guys always ask me, what are you running? What's your pump? It's 12 volt, 4.9 gallon per minute, 45 PSI. Nothing crazy, okay? I'm running half inch Curatec hose with a Gilmore gun. Simple. Look at that beautiful tree frog. That's sweet. Nice gray tree frog. Sticking to the vinyl. Hey, buddy. All right, Big Quinn rinsing the dirty end over there. We just have this last side to do, and we're done. Even with the extras that we've been uh, playing with here, we've only been on this job one hour. All right, we're all done. Big Quinn rolling it up. House came out really nice. You can see this is that black paint that we were talking about. All that came off. That looks just beautiful. Perfect. All up in there. Very, very clean. Very, very clean. Of course, we did the railings on the porch. This was really bad up here too, over that pine tree. Nice and clean. So we got all in behind all that vegetation. Clients already come back, reviewed the property. This walkway looks fantastic. Look at that beautiful walkway. Stairs look fantastic. Perfectly clean. Turbo nozzle rips. That little surface cleaner did a great job. This house is perfect, all done. Another beautiful property in Woodstock. Trees everywhere, pasture out back, flowers. All the way up into that peak, no problem. And this salamander tank looks brand new. So these couple little extras that we did with the salamander tank, the walkway and the stairs, uh, did not upsell that to the client. And guess what? He gave me a $50 tip. So 450 on this job took me exactly one hour and a half. 
with Quinn helping. So very happy day. We're off to the next job. Please like and subscribe to my channel and uh, we're gonna keep them going. Have a great day. More shock, been going crazy. Been doing like 120 gallons a week of shock. Transferring is in the five gallon bucket right now. Transferring up to the big jug in the back. So we get all those cubes, caps taken off, ready to go. And uh, as this depletes, we fill it up. Here, Quinn. Show them what we're doing. on that for a minute. All right, we're out here on the second job of the day. We got this one level ranch, a little garage on the end, a little breezeway between the buildings. We got this little concrete patio, stamped concrete, Quinn's taken care of. And we are on beautiful Alexander's Lake. Look at that. Nice little scene for us today. We might take a little dip when we're done, get refreshed. Then it's lunchtime and off to the third job. But again, that surface max, paying for itself. Does a great little job. You can see the difference it's making. Pretty efficient. Quinn's wearing rubber boots, so he doesn't soak himself. And that's uh, pre-treated with a 1% house wash mix. All right, we got her all soaked, rinsing it down. Quinn's rinsing with that blue tip. Does a great job. Had to park a little closer than we wanted to uh, because of the situation here, but that's what the house looks like down the other end. We got this little alcove in here, which is really black up in that eave, right up in there. But we got that nice and clean now. So almost done here. We've been here half an hour. All right, this job's all wrapped up. Very happy client, just gave me another $50 tip. So that's two $50 tips today. So again, talk about marketing, do the little extras, do a few little extras, talk to the client. Very happy. And uh, my son did a great job. Went down here, dunked himself in the lake real quick. Got himself wrung out. And now it's sandwich time. So we're heading to get a sandwich run a couple estimates and we've got two more projects to do today catch up with you guys soon all right we're out here on job number three we got this little gambrel here that we're doing nice property out in canterbury connecticut got our hoses all pulled we started here wrapped around that side of the house all the way to the end and are starting in the back corner that way and then we're going to backtrack this way so our hoses come back where we want them. And we're gonna end on this driveway side and then we reel everything up so it'll be nice and convenient. This house is pretty dirty on the back side, okay? One more marketing tip for you guys. If you don't have them, get some yard signs made. I carry a bunch of them in my truck at all times. Half a dozen of them on me at most of the time. Now I came out a little bit but i tuck them right in there on the truck keep five or six every property as soon as you get there while your tanks are filling up or whatever's happening put your yard sign out last job we were at just now today while we were washing client pulls up and says oh you guys are power washing come give me an estimate down the road we did that i scored a nice big job at the lake Catch up with you in a few. This is the dirty side of the house. Up in that peak is nasty. Those dormers are nasty. But 
dirtier the better, the more satisfying it yeah, is. Yeah, I love it when it's this dirty. It's so rewarding. Make it clean. People can't believe it. Oh, the guys, hey, how long is it gonna take you to do this? Like, we'll have this house done in an hour. No way! Last guy that came here, took him four hours. Had to get his ladders out. Charged me 700 bucks. What, are you kidding me? That's crazy. We're lucky, we got the right equipment. We're gonna do this job in an hour. And we're only charging this guy 325 on this one. Cause it's a piece of cake. Got the right equipment. And you do a better job than the last guy, you'll come back over and over and over. Look at that beautiful side. When's J. Rod rinsing over here, or I should say soap tip rinsing, which has got a little bigger orifice than the larger of my J. Rods. So it puts up the most volume for me. But this was the nasty side, and uh, that looks beautiful. The smoke around this chimney right here, that black stuff. I don't have uh, the right chemical to take that off, so it doesn't come off with my process. I'm looking into what works on that. I'm hearing some different stuff and I'm gonna figure it out and that's gonna go on my truck. And that's gonna be a quick little upsell. Put in a pump bottle or pump spray or whatever. Maybe brush it a little and it should come right off. So that's it. Walking around the front now. The back is all done. This side is all done and we are 20 minutes in. Quinn finishing up the front. I just took myself a little hose bath. Get that water set up. When it's hot, you get chemical on you, whatever it is you want to do, take a quick little bath. Final inspection. We got this gamble end to do and then we are done. Okay, 40 minutes, we're done. Just wrapping it up, take a quick walk around. Dormers are beautiful. They were nasty up on the corners of the dormers, especially on this north side. You can see up in there. Perfect, nice and clean. This side up high was nasty. It's now nice and clean and perfect. There's a pool in the back, another big yard. Canterbury's real nice cow country. We like it out here. And this side, of course, is perfect. So real happy. And we are 40 minutes done. Uh-huh. All right, we're done for the day. Project number three complete. We got another $20 tip. So that's a tip on every single job today, man. That's a big bonus for us. This is my son, Quinn. Next operator, uh, senior operator here, Quinn Deary. He's going to be on the job in his own truck <laughs> pretty soon. So that's it for the day. We made over a grand today. Three projects, seven and a half hours, big lunch break, fun with my son. Y'all subscribe to my channel and have a great day.